Who am I speaking with? Uh, my name's Tees. Tees, what do you do? I'm a writer. And uh, you also host a podcast, right? Well, I don't host it. Right now I'm doing PR for it. My mother, who's one of the leading game uh, researchers, hosts it. Her name is Jane Gackenbach. And so uh, tell me about this show. What are you, what's it all about? Well, the show is about video game psychology. It's about how video games are evolving us in a different way, about how it relates to our dreams, because that's her background is in lucid dreaming, and how gamers have different dreams, different reactions, and things of that sort. It also deals with the misconceptions about video games, violence, and all that kind of thing. And it delves really deep into the emerging culture and how it's really a good thing for us. And, and there are a lot of misconceptions out there about that. How is it a really good thing for us? Well, if you want to take one example from, say, people who are playing video games in the military, what you see is that they still suffer nightmares and, and have negative repercussions as a result of the time they've served, but they do not suffer from those nightmares to the extent that other people do as a result of prolonged uh, video game play where they are actively combating those who are coming against them uh, in conjunction with the time they served. It, alleviates that, so it makes it better. Also, video games, if you want to look at their development from the standpoint of helping people who are sick. So if you take burn victims, they've developed uh, video games for those burn victims to play while they're receiving the treatment, which is very, very painful, and that gets their minds off of that pain. So it's all different kinds of aspects of video games and how they pertain to our culture and lives. So it's more than just pure entertainment. There are some psychological fix factors that video games can provide. If anything, it's more of that than it is just entertainment. We just don't know exactly how far that goes yet. And we're going to discover more and more of that as time goes by. And if you want to know more of that, then check out that, that uh, show on webtalkradio.net. Tell me the name of the show again. Uh, it's Video Games Brain Drain or Gain. Hosted by, uh, Hosted by uh, Dr. Jane Gackenbeck. Awesome. And that's your mom, right? Yep. That's my mommy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay, now I have a follow-up question for you. Is there a certain video game that you played that got you excited to be in the gaming industry? Uh, it, it wasn't one certain video game because it's a progression of games over time. I mean, you start off with things like Mario, and there's a very, very limited story there, and that appeals to kids, but then that's branched off into an entire different... Uh, immersive environment where you can feel like it's real and the story can impact you deeper than that of a, a movie or a book. It's, it becomes like you're living it. It's visceral. And that is, is very, very exciting. And the potential of that to bound into the future and create things that we haven't even conceived of at this point is infinite.